So there it is. I'm celebrating uh, birthday number two for my channel. And I'm wearing my birthday hat. So I'm just going to set this over here just for now. And put that right there. Now, uh, one of my viewers recently suggested that I, uh, uh, that I eat a donair. Now, uh, the reason for that is my very first video, I was eating a donair. Now, uh, I'm just going to grab my plate. And uh, th the reason this person thought that'd be kind of interesting is because, you know, it's, uh, I did it, you know, the first time, so why not do it again? Might be kind of interesting. from the same place where I got my donair for my very first video. Just kitty corner from where I record my videos. There's a, a fellow who moved here from Syria with his wife. Maybe some other family members, I'm not sure, but he moved here and he started this little um, it's called Ofalafel. He sells Mediterranean. It's his own take on Mediterranean food. Like, you know, um, you know, shawarmas and, and stuff like that. And, and this type of things. He does all kinds of Greek stuff and what he calls Mediterranean stuff and whatever. But he has a little deli there too. He sells all kinds of olive oil, olives, all kinds of spices and Turkish delight and all kinds of stuff. But he's doing very well.
least this time you can see me eating it. When I buy this, it always looks so small. It's actually quite filling. Now I can't believe it's been two years since I started my channel. And I got to thank you people for all your support, all your love and all your loyalty and encouragement and your kindness. Uh, I would have quit a long time ago if it wasn't for all you people. They're just so good to me. So thank you very much for that. I, I really mean that. Thank you. You know, a lot of you people I've uh, developed like online relationships where I, I, I recognize your name and I see it and I, I know a bit about your background and some people have contacted me and messaged me privately and sent me pictures and I really like that. I sliced up all the cucumbers, I sliced up the onions. So I sliced all the onions, all the cucumbers, and we just add them to the pot. things you wish you would never end, you know what I mean? You want to just keep eating and eating and eating. So 
So yesterday, my buddy John, we went out for our, our meal. We do that maybe twice a month or once every three weeks. This time we hadn't seen each other in more than three weeks because last time I saw him was before my daughter's wedding and he was on his way down to Penticton to a resort. So he got back just recently. to share. So I started out saying, my buddy John and I went out for lunch and uh, hadn't seen each other in a while. I can't waste that. And of course I was trying to uh, lose a few LBs my daughter's wedding and my trip coming up, which I did. 
this big salad with that, with a chicken breast and all that, julienne on top, whatever, for the protein. And, and he'd always have his big granddaddy lasagna with the two pieces of garlic bread. He'd have apple pie for dessert with ice cream. So yesterday I did the whole, I did the, the whole schmeal, I did the same thing. I had the, um, the big lasagna with the two garlic toast and we both had apple pie and coffee or, uh, and ice cream for dessert and coffee. Oh wow. That's chocolatey. in my description box for my very first video called Eating a Donair and um, for my last birthday video. I was still wearing the same goofy hat. This is really chocolatey. I said, you mean the price? And she goes, no, I'm just, never mind. She was being, you know, facetious, or sarcastic, whatever. In other words, it looked really good. Mm, that's very chocolatey. Last night, a friend of ours came over. She made her homemade uh, black forest cake. Very good. When I first took the tr Cook's Training um, program in 1981, when I started, um, the bakery section, you, you were in there for about three months. It was a 12 month course. <coughs> spent about three months in the bakery and uh, you do all kinds of things puff pastry you know rolling and resting and and we did a lot of black forest cakes because it was up at the, the college or the university as it is now and uh, people would buy them and people are always ordering black forest cakes so i learned to make a black forest cake plus chocolate cakes like this and everything else that's funny because when I first started that course, I'd never tried black forest cake. I know it sounds weird, but I never did. food there. 
are so good. It's nice to see somebody come from a, you know, a, another country and, and, and do so well, you know, just uh, working away. A lot of times I'll walk in there, like today I was the only customer in there. But I've been, and we just opened now, just there about two minutes after you opened. But a lot of times I'd walk in there and I think it's not very busy, how's he staying alive? But next thing you know, somebody with, from Skip the Dishes comes in. <laughs> Whatever. 